Okay, welcome again to another lecture of Differential Calculus, Application of the Differential. By the way, I am Nathan and if you are new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you will be notified in our new video uploads. Ito ay exercise 6.2. By the way, the instruction here is find the approximate value of the following by the use of differentials. So, number 1 square root of 626 so let 600 square root of 626 is equal to y dy y i mean y plus dy and 626 is equal to x plus dx ang x natin dito ay any perfect number na pinakamalapit sa 626 so, ano nga ba ang perfect number na pinakamalapit sa 626? Ito ay 25 square is equal to 625. Okay? So, 626. By the way, may dot yan. Okay, ang tawag nga pala sa ganito ay approximately equal to. Approximately equal to. So, square root of 626 is approximately equal to y plus dy. Okay, balik tayo dito, where the value of x ay equal to 625. 625. Okay. Plus, to overcome na maging 626 to ay mag a tayo ng 1 dito, where the 1 here is the dx. So, 625 plus 1. So, let y is equal to square root of x. So, square root ang ginamit natin dito dahil square root ang given natin. We will derive it through differentials. So, dy is equal to, okay, differential of square root of x ay dx over 2 square root of x is equal to, isasab lang natin yung value ng x and dx dito. So, ang value ng y natin ay square root of 625 is equal to 25. So, ang value ng dy natin ay dx over 2 multiplied by square root of x. So, dx ay equal to 1 over 2 multiply by square root of x na, two, na 625 is equal to 1 over 2 multiply by 25 ay 1 over 50. So the totally square root of 626 is approximately equal to y 25 plus dy 1 over 50. So, square root of 626 is approximately equal to 25.02. Ito na ang sagot ng number 1. Number 3. 82 raised to 3 over 4. Okay, isaset lang natin ito into radical form. Kaya ito ay 4th root of 82 raised to 3. So, let the 4th root of 82 raised to 3 is approximately equal to y plus dy. And 82 is equal to x plus dx na kung saan ang letter x dito ay any number that is raised to 4. So, ito ay, ay 3 raised to 4. Ay, bibigyan tayo ng 81. 3 raised to 4. Ayan. So, 82 is equal to x, 81, plus dx, okay, 81, plus 1. So, 81 plus 1 equal to 82 to make the equation true. dx is equal to 1. So, let y is equal to x raised to 3 over 4. So, dy is equal to 3 fourth multiplied by x raised to negative 1 fourth. So, isab lang natin yung value ng x and dx. By the way, may dx dito. So, y is equal to 
81 raised to 3 over 4. Like 27 equal to 27 and 3 fourth multiplied by 81 raised to negative 1 fourth is equal to, I mean, multiply by dx, no one, ganun din. So, it is equal to 1 fourth. So, totally, the fourth root of 82 raised to 3 is approximately equal to y na 27 plus 1 fourth na dy. So, the fourth root of 82 raised to 3 is approximately equal to 27 point 25 this is the answer for number three number five is the fifth root of 31.6 okay so let me the fifth root of 31.6 is approximately equal to y plus dy and 31.6 is equal to x plus dx So the value of x is any number raised to 5 that is nearest to 31.6. So ito ay 2 raised to 5 is equal to um, 32. Okay, stop natin. So 31.6 is equal to 32 plus dx. Kailangan, na di kailangan din natin hanapan na value on dx. So to make the equation true, 31, okay, 3.2. 31.6 minus 32 is equal to negative 0 0.4. So, negative 0 0.4. So, the value of dx is negative 0 0.4. So, let be the y is equal to the fifth root of x. Fifth root of x and also equal to x raised to 1 over 5. So, the differential of this equation is dy is equal to 1 over 5 multiply by x raised to 1 over 5 minus 1. So, it is negative 4 over 5. So, isab lang natin, ano? Okay, ang x natin ay 32. So, 32 raised to 1 over 5 ay 2. Okay. 2. So, ang dy natin ay 1 over 5 multiply by x na 32 raised to negative 4 over 5. Multiply by dx. By the way, differential pala ito na dx. So, ito ay multiply by negative 0 0.4. So, ito ay negative 1 over 200. Totally, the the fifth, the fifth root of 31.6 is approximately equal to y na 2. Okay, minus 1 over 200. So, the fifth root of 31.6 approximately equal to 399 over 200 or 1.995. This is the answer for number 5. Number 7 ay the natural logarithm of 2.3 if ln2 is equal to 0 0.6931. So, uh, ito ay may clue na agad tayo kung anong gagamitin natin, ano? The ln2 or the natural logarithm 2. So, let the ln 2.3 is approximately equal to y plus dy and 2.3 is equal to x plus dx. Where the value of x here ay 2. Okay? So, 2.3 is equal to 2 plus dx. Okay, 2.3 minus 2 ay 0.3. So, the value of dx ay 0.3. 0.3. So, the equation now is true. So, let b the y is equal to the natural logarithm of x. So, it is equal to ln x. So, ln 2. So, we will derive or we will use the differential of y is equal to ln x is equal to dy equal to dx over x. Which is dx is equal to 0.3 over 2 as the value of x. So, the natural logarithm 
of 2.3 is approximately equal to y ln 2 plus dy 0.3 over 2. So ln 2.3 is approximately equal to ln 2 plus 0.3 over 2. 0 0.8431. Seven. Ito na ang sagot ng ating number 7. So I hope na nakatulong itong video na ito at kung may mga katanungan man tungkol dito sa ating sagutan ay pwedeng pwede kayo magtanong sa ating comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And i-click na rin yung notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa future uploads natin. Goodbye.